Hello, my name is Monica Lemp and I'm a graphic designer at ITS. In today's tutorial, we'll be covering Adobe Stock. Before we get started, I would like to show you a few basic steps. Let me share my screen with you. At this point, you should have downloaded Adobe Creative Cloud from the SDSU website, and you need to be logged in to your Adobe account. Here are a few different ways of accessing the images. You can go online, but you can also use the images and access them from within some of the applications. Let's go online and look at some of the images. Here I am in creativecloud.adobe.com. In the top left, you see a few tabs. In the stock and marketplace, that's where you will find the images. Also important is this files tab, because as soon as you start to work with Adobe stock, it will want to save the images somewhere and it will save them into your libraries. As you can see, I have several libraries here already. The libraries can be shared, they can be renamed, copied and deleted, and within you can organize your images in groups. Let's go and have a look at some of the images. I click here on stock and marketplace. At the top, you can have a few tabs to narrow down your search. And here you can go and search by keyword. Let's search for technology today. On your left, you will find a filter system, which is very helpful to narrow down your choices. Important to know for us today is, is what is included in our subscription and standard content is included. You have various other helpful tools here. You can look for images with space for copy, with and without people. And you can also look for images with certain colors. So if you have a design that requires, say, red, you can enter it here and it will look for images that include to some extent, more, some more and some less, this color. Now, if we hover over the images, you get some choices. You can save to the library, you could download a preview or you can find similar. Also here, you have a button that says license. This particular image has not yet been licensed. It has the rounded corner and it says license. Let's look and see if we find some other images that have been licensed yet. Well, let's save this one to the image library. And as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, it will want to save it somewhere. So right now it, it saves it into our technology library and that's where we want it to go. If this is not correct, you can pick your library here, but for us, this will do. Now let's also license an image. We simply click on this button here. It gives you a few choices, which file format you'd like. Again, it will want to save it in, in the upper right-hand corner library. It, give, it will give you the option to save it to your hard drive, but I say cancel. And now if we look at this image that we just licensed, it says licensed. Now, if you find an image you like that says licensed, you can certainly download it as well. Just know that somebody else did the same. Okay, let me stop sharing this view and let's go to InDesign and work with the images. Here's a file I already prepared for us. Again, here are the few steps we talked about earlier. Here we see a flyout window that's called CC libraries. This is the same view as we've seen online of our library. If you don't see this flyout window, go to the drop down menu at the top under Windows and find the CC libraries. 
In some application, this will simply be called libraries. If you look at this flyout window, you have different choices. You can choose the library you want to work in, and we want to do the technology one. You can share this library right now with your colleagues. You can even look for images right now if something is missing and you have forgotten to look for something. Let's have a look what we have here. We have our two images, one that we saved and one that we licensed. The one that we only saved, we still need to license and we can do so right in this application. We simply click on this little shopping cart icon. Confirm that. And here we have it. We just licensed an image and now we are ready to go. These images are not yet grouped and we can group them right now. Clean up our library a little bit. There we go. I also created a tab, a group for logos, which is empty at this moment. I will now go to my desktop and drag in some of the logos I have already on. You don't see this step, but I'm just grabbing them from my desktop and I'm putting them in there. So as you can see, you can also add non-Adobe elements into your library, which is very handy. Now let's actually use the images. I'm gonna to try to use this blue one here. You just click on it and drag it and place it right in your layout like so. I created a little bit of artwork for us today. Let's get that. Add a little color here. Now you can even add text boxes to your library. I already prepared a couple here today. Like so. And here you would have a little body copy, like so. And this is really handy if you wanna have some text, the same kind of text that the whole team is using. Make sure everybody is working with the same information. Let's grab one of the logos right there. And here you have it. So as you can see, it's very in simple to work with Adobe Stock. Try it out. And I hope you enjoy this new resource as much as I do. Thank you for your time today. Bye-bye.